I'm telling you how to stay free at this point. Make no provision for the flesh. Romans 13, 14 says, but put, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. That means get rid of whatever's around you that would be a trigger. That, that might mean unplugging your television set. It might mean taking all the you know, sugary food out of your pantry or what, whatever it is that you are preparing for the flesh to fall, get rid of it. Whatever it is, it's just that simple. And if you don't do that, you're not serious. So, uh, number or Ephesians four twenty seven. Neither give place to the devil. That has to do with making no provision. Now, what this also means is fill your mind with God's word. Get so busy doing the do's, you don't have time to do the don'ts. Amen. And so you start filling your time up doing these things, and you start replacing things uh, with other things that are godly. It's just that simple. Uh, number now, and this is the last one. Yes, Matthew chapter twelve, verse forty-three. Because this is what you have to remember. Because if you do what I just told you, you will be free. Once you are free, remember this. This has to become your verse to remember. Once you are free, when the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, he walks through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Then he says, "I will return into my house." From when, notice he said he, he's going to go back to his house, right? From whence I came out, and when he has come, he finds it empty, swept, and garnished, all prettied up, much better. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Now that was Jesus. If Jesus said it, it's a fact. If you get free, the demon will leave, but he will try to come back. He will try to come back and see if your house is swept, and if his old house is swept and garnished, and if it's even been filled. Now, you have to realize, if you move him out, there's no such thing as a void in the spirit. If you move him out, you got to move somebody else in, and you gotta, or something else in this case, and you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you are filled with the Spirit, the devil will have no room in you. That's why he tells us, be being filled. Amen? And remember, this applies to any time a demon is cast out. If you're serious, now listen carefully. If you're serious, <clears throat> devils will leave willingly, knowing they can go and get seven of their friends that are worse than them. Now, sometimes whenever you're setting yourself free, and even other people, sometimes you say, go, boom, it's gone. You're like, Wow. That was easy. Yep. Why? Because he wanted to go and he's going to get seven more friends and come back. So sometimes he puts up a little more of a fight, right? And takes a little bit longer sometimes. But regardless, when I say longer, I'm not talking days, weeks. I'm talking minutes, right? But you can tell the resistance that he will put up. Now, until you cast him out, he can come and go at will. When you cast him out, he goes, then he comes back to see what you've done with yourself since then and tries to make sure that, uh, you know, that, well, he, try, he, he comes back to see if he can move back in, is what it comes down to. Amen? Do you understand that? Yeah. Do y'all get anything out of this this morning? Yeah. Do you know how to set yourself free? Yes. Okay? Now, if you need copies of this, we'll make copies and show you the seven steps, or however you want to call it. But you have to remember that once you go through with this, and, and you can do this individually, you can do it as a whole. In other words, you can tell them all to go, but when you tell them to go, Tell them not to enter back in, right. right? Now, a lot of them will obey that automatically and never even try to come back once you add that to it. Some will see if you were serious, right? And you'll see the difference. So, uh, as I said, we'll, we'll try to get this printed up for you and get something for you. So, other than that, that's the end of the lesson, Amen. and we will come back in in a few minutes. Amen? All right. Well, God bless you. Glad to have you here today. We're going to have a great day. Amen? All right, get up, get around, meet one another, shake hands, make friends. We're all part of the same body. <laughs>